Hey everybody, welcome to T-Roy Cooks. I appreciate you joining us. I'm gonna show you how to do a crock pot potato soup. It's gonna be nice, thick, rich, creamy potato soup with some cheese and other stuff in there. If you're interested, the ingredients and recipe will be down below in the description box. Just hit show more below the video. Let me show you what goes in this, folks. All right, folks, let's go ahead and get my crock pot going. I'm gonna put it on high. I'm gonna set it for three, three hours. Now, I like these Yukon Gold for stuff like this. So I've got these all nice cubed up and we're gonna throw these in. Three cups of uh, chicken broth right here. And I got the low sodium chicken broth. And for the potatoes, I'm sure pretty much any potato will work, but I would stick with the Yukon Gold. There's some onion. This is uh, basically a half of a large or a whole medium onion going in. Dried parsley going in. Garlic going in. Here we are. Bacon. Now this, this bacon, I baked it off in the oven and got it all crispy and then I just cut it up in strips, you know, real fine. And that's probably like eight pieces of, uh, of bacon. I'm gonna throw in some salt and pepper. Here we are. I like my pepper. All right, we're gonna put the lid on this after I stir it up and we're gonna let this cook probably for, I'd say about three hours and we'll check it. If it needs to go another hour, we'll check it again and, and we'll let it, let it go. But I'll bring you back when the potatoes are getting close. I'll show you the next step. All right, folks, my soup's been going about four hours and my potatoes are about ready. I just tested them on the fork and they get real tender. I got this over a medium heat. Four tablespoons of butter going in this unsalted butter. Let me get this melted down. We'll be right back. All right, my butter's melted. I'm going in with a third cup of all-purpose flour. Get that all combined. Once that's all combined, just let this go for like a minute, minute and a half. After a minute, minute and a half, it should have cooked that flour taste out of the flour. At that point, that's when you want to add your milk or half and half, or in my case, I'm using 16 ounces of heavy cream. There we go. Heavy cream. And you may want to get a whisk, but get this all combined. When it comes up to a boil, turn it down to simmer. Let it simmer for another minute or so. And we'll be right back. All right, now while I'm waiting for my bechamel sauce to come up to a boil and let it thicken up, let me just show you real quick. And again, like I said, I think, I think I said anyway, this took four hours because of the size of my potatoes. If you cut them smaller cubes, you know, you, you're gonna probably go in like three hours. Or if you want to do it on low, that's fine. Let it go for about five or six hours on low. That'll be fine. Get your potato masher though. We need to we need to mash up some of these potatoes. And just mash up, I don't know, maybe uh, three-fourths of them or so. And that'll help thicken this broth up that's in there. And at that point, we're gonna add this bechamel. Alright, gang, let me show you what we're gonna do now. See this bechamel sauce? Thicken up. Really, really nice. Go ahead and dump that in. Once you got in that in there, go ahead and add just some sour cream. And add just some sharp cheddar cheese. Combine all of this and let this cook on high for another 15, 20 minutes or until it looks ready. And if you're doing it on low, you need about another half hour at least, 30, 40 minutes. So I'm gonna put the lid on this after I mix it all up. We'll show you what it looks like here shortly. All right, let's check out this soup, folks. I put a little bit of chive and some shredded cheddar cheese on top, along with some of the leftover bacon we saved, reserved for the topping. Down the hatch. Oh my gosh. Folks, if you like loaded baked potatoes, you gotta check this out. This is fabulous. This is awesome, man. The recipe for it, again, is down below in the description box. Just hit show more down below. Hope y'all check it out. If you try it out, let me know what you think about it. If you like the video, y'all give me some thumbs up. Hope you share it. And when you do, please tell all your friends that T-Roy cooks responsibly. Cheers, everybody.